Yeah, hi. This is Sonal here. So now I am going to today. I am going to paint Vincent Van Gogh's famous sunflower. So I have already, you know, put a base there. And presently, I am not going to color, you know, entire canvas. I have just given, you know, uh, I have used the black shade, and I have given, you know, uh, the base for the sunflower as per the, you know, reference picture. And this is the background. which i am doing with the patello blue and red so i'm just going to give a foundation right now and uh, let's see how it turns out so i'm just taking you know some color and it is basically you know patello blue with red basically and uh, just using some water so same way i'm going to you know paint entire canvas because This time my base is not black as such. I'm going to use a patello blue only. Patello blue with slightly red. Yeah, as you can see, this uh, I have almost you know covered the canvas, three fourth of that, and there is no you know exact perfect way of brush stroke. So I am just taking some color, and I am doing the way you know I want to do. So there is no specific like you know perfection like you have to do in this way only. So basically, this this painting we are doing you know for relaxation. So that is the reason I am not putting you know too much focus on the brush stroke. So right now, at least for the base. So this is I am just taking randomly color and. that's all i'm just doing you know random brush strokes and uh, not much perfection so there is brush size size is basically this one is a uh, flat brush and it is a uh, 4 and uh, patello blue i'm using it and you can see my brush stroke nothing much wherever you know boundary is there i'll cover this that's all and i'll take some slight water and then this color it's quite simple and that's all no perfect you know no specific brush stroke any any direction you can do but because it's a flat brush we are using it it's a flat so you can do like this so it will you know cover the maximum area and this activity na no, it you will feel slightly relaxation also and uh, there is a corner is also remaining so i'm just you know filling that also you can see see there is a so much you know different shades you can see here somewhere you know red is more that is the reason it is light so i'm not focusing too much on that i am just you know my main motive is to cover canvas that's all so this is my version of sunflowers because this is basically you know concentration and relaxation format even if you remember in one of the my video also vincent van gogh style was you know light brush brush stroke so which is basically you know bring slightly you know focus and concentration So we'll start that part soon, but right now we are just filling base. That's all. It's done. Now whatever remaining color, now I'll just take it and I will do it. So it is fine, you know. This way, although it is not perfect, you know, it shouldn't be perfect. Also, it's fine. And the way it look, it will look much better, you know. So, but ensure there is no white. You know, is remaining. That part you can ensure it. Otherwise, it's fine. I'll just you know give a last touch wherever I'll see slightly you know unpainted area. That's all. So this base is done. We'll let it dry. Hi. So this is you know actual picture. So you can see now I will draw these swirls and ah using chalk in my painting. So this is my tab. So I am just referring this picture. 
so I have drawn swirls and curves using chalk by referring the picture so as you can see that part is completed now I will you know give the some color color base to these you know uh, shapes and I'll start with the light blue so I'm going to use patello with some white and I will give you I'll give the one round of uh, you know uh, strokes over these curves and swells so I have uh, patello blue and white so I'm going to give you know lighter shade not too light but uh, slightly slightly this shade this should be lighter than your base base which has been used here because we are going to give a two round of you know swells and curves so I think this shade is fine this is sufficient so now I will take my brush I will take my brush and you know I will start giving this some base here so that it comes you know it's uh, clearly visible so use some water also and uh, this is covered I'm giving So right now everything we are doing for base only. So far we didn't start you know any specific style actually. This is just a base. Everything is base right now. I'll just make a slight darker or this way. This part is done now these are you know swells actually so how will I do that see look here I will do like this only these are the small small stroke I will put like this Please do remember this is again you know first layer we are doing. We have to do some more layer. Then only you know that depth will come. Similarly, we'll you know complete all the shapes here with the, the same shade. So first layer we completed already so you can see you know all the all the places I have used you know one shade now I am going to make it you know slightly lighter shades so I will use some more white and I will mix it in the existing blue only so it is a blue only but it is slightly you know lighter and I will I will use some more so that you know I don't have to mix it again slight water and uh, I think this shade is fine. Okay, this is done. So you can see I have taken some color and how I will do, you know, I will I will take any one, you know, swell and curve and uh, this should be slightly clear brush stroke. You can see how I am doing. Mm. It will take time. Because this is a speciality of the Vincent Van Gogh's painting. 
these brush strokes so it's a bold you know bold vibrant colors with thick thick brush strokes so that was the you know main style of Vincent van Gogh which can be seen in all his paintings actually if you just search it now about Vincent van Gogh and his painting collection then you will come to know so he was basically a Dutch artist and uh, he has done almost you know 2100 paintings in in just you know 10 years of his lifespan so i'm going to record a podcast also on him today so you can listen that to know more about him because that is really inspiring his journey is really inspiring and uh, how he you know his unconditional unconditional love for the art in his entire lifespan he was not able to sell even a single painting also once he died all this artwork you know was sold by his brother's wife and uh, that that became very you know popular artwork and highly sellable so that is also once he was not there but when he was alive right he never left the practice and doing and he kept you know working working without even looking into results so that is quite inspiring so i'm going to record a podcast on that you can hear that so now coming back to this painting so similar way i'll complete all other places also and here also i will you know make a, a, a brush strokes and cover this you know this entire area the swirl i'll cover it so i'm just starting that so hi so you can see you know i have uh, almost covered these you know circles and uh, all the circles you know i have covered it now whatever that remaining area also na there also we have to put the stroke and those strokes we will you know put that according to objects for example direction i'm talking about this is a you know sun, sunflowers middle middle place so i'm going to put a stroke like this okay now again here so it should be a uh, try to understand we are trying to represent you know wind uh, and then you know that curves via that so we have to put in this way so that you know it get mixed around i'll i'll tell you how to do that and uh, you can see here here also we can continue slightly and finally we can you know mix it here something like that so that it uh, doesn't look you know slightly different than actual curve so this is what i'm just mixing some more water and here already you know circles are there so i will do like this so that now it get mixed with this like this now slightly here also here also here also here also so it get mixed similarly here also let me put that in this way so that No. Like this, 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 this. Here also. Now it will mix with in these, you know, curves only. So like this. Okay. Now again, same thing here. We have a free space, right? So we have to do like this. so that it get mixed here and that this is a sunflower base so i will do like this and it's not necessary to put a you know perfect uh, brush stroke it's fine actually the way it is coming you know more than my speed is also increased actually 
after seeing this my speed is also increased So it is somewhat, you know, we are trying to represent actually wind only. You know, this was a space shaggity. So we are trying to represent wind. So we have to ensure the way, you know, it is going. It should get along with other, other swells and curves, etc. So that is the reason we did. Now we can put in this direction and then we can again, you know, mix it somewhere. This brush stroke like this. And show you. Now I'll do like this, so that get along with this. Yeah, I think you are getting that right. Mm -mm -mm. So this is a technique I have done multiple times. That is the reason you know I am doing it quickly. And uh, just do not worry about you know brush stroke, whether it is a small, big, and all. Just do it actually. Hmm. Now, because I painted you know starry nights there also, but there I was uh, extremely cautious. Now because I I understood after doing multiple you know practice, I understood. At the end you know we have to put a final coat only that time we can correct everything actually so it's not necessary to you know give a perfect uh, shapes at the base even after that we are going to use yellow so there you know we can correct it but flow we cannot correct it see stroke flow now see it is looking better <laughs> looking good now these are circles, circles, so I will just, you know, take the stroke in circle only so that it get mixed slightly with the flow. Something like that. Oh, it's looking better. Now here also, I will cover it. Bigger stroke, that's all. See, it's done. So here in the middle, you know this one is a bigger one actually as well we are trying to represent a wind only but you know it's a blowing so what i will do inside that also slightly i will give you know, certain strokes like this So when you are doing this you can pause the video understand the concept pause the video and then do it by yourself so that will you know give you the clear way of doing it so i think this is done this part is done now we'll use the some other color so now i have a cad medium yellow and yellow oxygen and I'm going to use these both color along with white and I already have a you know blue on my brush so I will not you know remove it because I will you know use this white first and give a final touch final touch on these you know swells I'll show you how so it is like you know that final layer I am giving you can see like this that's why I told right do not try to make you know your swells and stroke perfect because finally we'll mix only and we'll go with, we'll we'll give you know that mixed look only so this is white I am using so same I'll do it you know everywhere so it will be like you know highlight and that we will do it randomly it will not be exact over the existing strokes or something like that We'll do like this. As I, as I, see? And so this is white I'm using. So white is a final, you know, final color which here also I'm doing it. So it will, you know, highlight 
these swells more that's the reason i was telling you not to you know try that giving a perfect uh, strokes initially because acrylic is for that only layering 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 so better you complete one layer normal way no need to perfect it everything can be done at the end actually i'll take some water it's not coming now this is i'm doing it it says here this one is also remaining this is like this hmm now this one also next i'm going to use yellow oxture and cadmium yellow because this is basically you know we are trying to do it uh, sky this is all sky and wind so to represent you know slightly stars and all that is a main you know speciality of vincent van gogh painting we use you know yellow oxture and uh, Add medium yellow. Now I think this part is done. Now I what I'll do? Wait mm -hmm. one second. Here also slightly is remaining. Mm -hmm. Ha! This is done. Now I'll change my brush mm -hmm. and uh, I'll wash it. Okay. And. Uh, I'll start with this cad medium yellow. Cad medium yellow, and I will, you know, give a base here. Base middle middle section of this well. Actually, normally we could have done earlier, but I left it so that now at the end I can. And rest of the portion because this is you know crescent we are giving. This is one of the star. You know, this is what the his speciality. Normally we do like that. and uh, other places i will just put a dot this is cad medium yellow remember we are not using yellow oxture this is cad medium yellow everywhere in the mid we'll give a dot so it is you know we are representing representing a light right here this is all our modern art actually you know, modern art will not be you know actual it will not be near to realism more you know bold brush stroke and or that finally it's abstract or this is not as such abstract it is more symbolism but uh, so here we are representing an art now here you can see half moon ra it is looking like half moon so let me correct it moon is not in my thing scan fine now i will use yellow oxture and slightly i'll you know mix mix yellow oxture and uh, then i will you know give a this way of texture near to that only just remember near to that not anywhere else like this so that you know that bright yellow is visible but at the same time surrounding is yellow slightly dull so this is the type you know we are trying to give mm -hmm. i think this is fine complete here also so everything is a representation here you understand everything is a representation here so this is a light we are representing or you can say star 
you know star and that light reflection or light after some point of time your hand will settle actually to give this stroke your hand will settle you will be able to do it quickly see like this and as i said it's not necessary to give a perfect you know gold stroke now this main one will do so i'm you know i'm going to do like this slightly oh, slightly here fine that's all that's all this much is enough shouldn't be overdone it's done 